Alright YouTube, welcome back to the garage and for today's video, as the title already tells you, we're going to go ahead and swap out our fuel relays. So the Rattler Evo 10, if you guys aren't aware, um, our fuel relays tend to go bad and since my car is at 60,000 miles, I've actually been having issues on, upon cold start starting up the car. Um, it starts every time, however, it takes a little bit before it finally ignites and starts up. So um, I did realize I haven't changed out any fuel relay since buying this car. It's a 2015, 60,000 miles on it. You do the math, it's probably time to change out our relays. So on STM Tune about the fuel relay, uh, fuel pump um, relay kit. All right, so that costed about $70. All right, well worth it. We'll see how it works. So I'll show you guys how it starts right now currently with the OEM fuses in there. We'll swap out the new ones and hopefully it starts right up like I'm assuming it's going to. Um, so yeah, they're $70. Right now, they're currently the black relays. That's how you can know if you have the old style OEM ones. Um, the ones that just came in the mail, they all happen to be orange. So here's three of the orange ones, okay? And the one fat gray one. So let me go ahead and show you guys inside of our fuse box. That way we can identify them and you guys can see the difference. All right, so here under our fuse box, all right, so we're gonna be swapping out this guy, and then one, two, and three right here, these three locations. So I have the black ones, no bueno. You can buy the whole kit right there for $70. I'll leave this down in the description box, that way you guys can go pick some up for yourself. Three orange, one gray. Let's go ahead and swap them into the car. Let's hop in the car and show you guys kind of the rough start. All right stock fuses before I throw the orange ones in look at the difference right these are a little bit longer so maybe that makes a difference maybe it doesn't but let's go ahead and throw these in and see what happens All right, let's go start up the car. Much better. Again, for reference, there we are at 61,000 miles. So, it was definitely time to swap those out. So something I just kind of figured out myself, so I have to go buy another one. But on STM, it actually calls to change out this top corner one, these two, and then this one. However, when I went to go look at the Cosmic, they recommend four of them. So these three in addition to this one. So I'm just going to leave it as is now that I know that the car fired up a little bit better than before. With this setup, we're changing these four. So I have to go back and buy a, one additional fuse to replace that one. I think we should be good to go. Just thought I'd fill you guys in on that since I just kind of figured that out myself. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the fuse box, for the fuses. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that up here. That was a nice little quick and easy video on how to swap out your fuses for your fuel relays. Highly recommend you guys do it. People say to do it every other oil change, about 10,000 miles or so. Um, I'm not gonna really do that. It's more of a weekend car, so I don't drive it all the time. I'm only swapping it out because had issues with the startup of the car on cold starts. Other than that, the car has been running perfectly fine. No issues. So the car idles well and behaves well, so I'm pretty happy with it. Just figured I'd throw in a little video for you guys in regards to the fuel relays because those are important. Keeps your car running nice and healthy. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, um, leave a comment down below and I'll try to address them as always. And don't forget to check the description box where you can find the relay. So other than that, just want to say thanks for watching. Never leave your life and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.